What's up Kingsman? Welcome back to the battlefield. Hope you guys are all doing well and I hope you guys are ready buckled in for yet another glorious fight. This is on Marengo and um, you can see already man some Lancers from Russia actually getting the first bloodshed within seconds of this battle starting here. Um, Naples up in front defending Marengo which is what this map is. Um, Oh yeah, he's not prepared at all, and these Lancer is going to get a nice kill on that Hussar. Uh, but like I said, Naples up in front here to defend. Um, they are actually retreating, which is not a bad idea whatsoever, considering that the French armies, all three of them, are pretty far back. I mean, there's two that are a little bit closer, but Naples is falling back immediately. Um, they could have tried to hold this house and hold this little choke point, but with so many men... It would, it would be a worthy fight, but I think it would kill them in the end because Russia is advancing on this road. You have a 10-point Austria advancing along with a 10-point Prussia as well as a 6-point UK. I mean, there's a lot of forces rolling straight for Naples, and Naples is a challenging faction to play. Um, they can definitely put up quite a significant fight, um, but, you know, at what cost do you, do you put up a fight? You know, you don't want to, if you lose at all, if there's any significant loss that Naples would suffer, then they would be down an entire army against the coalition of four armies. You can see a lot of cavalry, though, from Prussia, um, infantry as well. You have uh, the the Russian Kazakis on the left side. You have some Dragoons from Austria as well, some Ulanin on the right. Prussian Hussars pushing through the center. Naples has the work cut out for them. If they want to make a successful retreat, they're going to have to be very vigilant, keeping their squareables in the rear guard, keeping their cav close, but yet not too close to where you get charged. Because right now, I guarantee you the coalition is going to endeavor to do everything at possible to overwhelm Naples and actually destroy um, artillery, infantry, a general maybe. Just basically inflicting heavy, heaviest amount of casualties ever, which actually, I don't know, I enjoy a lot of these just because it takes a lot of skill on both sides, more on the defensive side. But here we go, we got some Lancers charging in against more of Naples' cavalry. Naples actually seems to be footing it decently well. Um, they have taken that first blast of cav off. Now some Dragoons going in, that will break Naples' cap, and a general now from Naples. Um, looks to be exposed. Oh, come on. Charge it. Take out Naples general. Man, they did not. I'm surprised they didn't. Um, Naples should be following the cat back and leaving one or two squares. This is what you should do. Leave like the, a square bowl on the side, side, and side, and keep your cap near the front. Now, we do see some French infantry rushing into this LOC, so France this is up. And honestly, I don't think the coalition made a significant... Um, advantage they didn't make any super big gains and there's me yet another cab charge some lancers charging in against the hussars of prussia prussia not going to take that too well against those lancers it looks like some of the guys are getting a couple good kills in prolonged melee prussia is going to start winning um if they can stay in it long enough but of course they did not artillery firing from where where's the artillery firing Oh, there was Prussia artillery, but it is climbing back up. I'm so... Oh, man. Oh, look at all the cavalry over on the left side. Okay, this is looking to be a huge, massive cav. I would not be pressing up the cavalry. I mean, there's some heavy cav. Wow, Prussia brought Carassiers in magnitude, in a massive amount of them. Even Austria brought Carassiers. So three at least heavies... Uh, that will be super helpful. I would definitely be trying to use them to focus down Naples versus France. But like I said, guys, France looks like they have made their uh, lines already. We have some cavalry way on the side, probably scouting um, the general over here with his infantry. I guarantee you forming up, and they are going to be stacking their infantry along this road. Maybe expanding out on the left side here. We do have some Austrian cav charging forward some dragoons v dragoons the french dragoons definitely are un outnumbered 
and they were unable to get a charge. They were just being more defensive. So I think Austria should win this fight. Um, France going to try to get himself out of there. Austria retreating their cab now as uh, looks like some Lancers from Naples were maybe going to try to charge. Both sides just trying to scare the other one off. And uh, this battle looks to be a little bit stagnating. Um, the coalition still waiting for the reinforcements. Russia is going to have to make a move here on the left side with Austria. Prussia actually does not have a lot of infantry, which is kind of a difference compared to normal. Saxon Grenadiers. Actually, oh, well, okay, okay, interesting. They have brought six units of Grenadiers, plus the three or two Crossier, um, plus the two Hussars. They brought a, such a small army for a 10-pointer. That is quite surprising. Now, hopefully, they don't throw away their heavy cab. Already, I see it. You don't need to keep your heavy cab up in the front lines or until are just going to destroy it. I'd pull back my heavies until the infantry have pushed up and started engaging in a line fight and then send your Grens if that's what they're planning on doing. Grenadiers with Heavy Cav, an excellent strategy. We did have uh, some some Dragoons from Russia pushing forward here. Not the kind of cavalry that you should push out by itself. Lights should be pushing out to scout and the Dragoons should be backing them up. Because um, France is being very defensive right now it would appear even with their cavalry, they're not probing too much. They're just kind of cementing their defensive lines. And keep in mind, there is a river here with a forest. This would be a rough push for Russia to make. Um, they may make it still, but I mean, they're, they're going to have to get the troops into position first. That can take some time. Um, uh, what is it? Gosh, I don't know why I can't make my thoughts into sentences the UK are gonna be the uh, good shooting faction even better than Austria Austria does have a lot of troops that can tank a line fight for a while but the UK are gonna be the ones who I think will set the tone for some of the shooting at least I hope they will now Austria does have some good units for shooting but man they're advancing with no reserves this I would caution against even these three units, they don't even need to have those. They could have those in a reserve line because if the enemy attack you, what is going to react to defend your line? You need, you don't need like these long lines. Push a couple troops back behind, um, or I guess Prussia. Prussia could even be the reserve, but Prussia is not really advancing this way. Oh my goodness, I totally missed the rest of the Prussian army. <laughs> I was like, man, they only brought five red or six reds. No, they have plenty of musketeers. Oh, that's good. I was actually kind of concerned about that. I wasn't going to voice it, um, but oh good, they have tons of musketeers as well. I honestly thought they invested it all in grenadiers, just brought really good grens. She knows how much I play Prussia 10, which is like none. And oh man, it's like Austria just heard me. I'm just kidding. No, they, they have the reserve line set up very, very good. I'm um, getting away from the artillery as well. It looks like Naples is going to hold this village. Getting the first volleys of this fight. And then fall back. <laughs> Austria oh, is going to have to push into attack. the town, which means melee. But Prussia has Gren, so you know, that actually would be a better, um, better army suited for attacking there. More French artillery has set up stakes, depending on this. are very strong positions that France has, which means the coalition has their work cut out for them. Now, thinking about how this battle is set up, guys, is it is not set up to where the coalition can stand by and not do anything. It is meant for the coalition to be very aggressive. They cannot afford to just stand there and wait. Um, they got to be pressing forward constantly because every second that they wait is another second that another French army presses the advantage of being, you know, this army doesn't take a minute to get up. Right now, there's only three versus basically four. If the coalition can go quickly enough, they could totally wipe the floor, especially if they focus on one side. I'd be focusing maybe Naples a little bit more. If Prussia can get in position and focus down Naples, that's perfect because the two French armies look to be on this left side. Um, Russia is pushing into the tree line. He has a lot of light infantry, um, so he has some good shooting units as well as good melee grenadiers. 
So this, this army could do well. They are not, however, they are going into this advance blindly. We saw in a previous video Austria run right into a French army and then get repelled here. So hopefully he's going to start scouting a little bit more. He does have heavy cav. He has some crossiers, so I like to see a lot more heavy cab being brought. It always makes me feel a little more confident they can do better um, against the enemy because heavy cab is just such an excellent infantry puncher. All right, Austria is making a full-on movement into the town here, sending in grenadiers. Naples trying to hold them off, in fact, countercharging them as they're going in for that LOC. And this battle actually may turn into a bloodbath very quickly for that LOC. Looks like Naples has their guard units here. Uh, more infantry set up here. Now Austria is probably going to do a better job of uh, you know, focusing town this side of the fight. Um, I guarantee you that Austria, let's see what do they have here. One of the units is firing in the back of this Grenadier unit. Um, Naples actually flanking here. Hopefully Prussia will stop that, at least stop them from flanking Austria. Austria really invested into this town at this point. They've really committed a lot of forces here. It does sound like artillery is starting to focus down this house and be trying to um, make it a little bit easier, soften up this defending French line infantry so that these uh, line infantry of Austria can make a push. Um, Russia still making their push. Now France is drawn up in a line of battle to receive them. Our men are running, sir. But Russia has some really good light infantry, so I bet you they could take this. And they are really stretching that. Holy smokes, look at all the guns that France has brought. France knew what to bring from this battle, which was artillery. They just got to be able to hold this town. And Naples being the one to hold this town. I mean, France does have their reserve line. I'm surprised they aren't trying to push more infantry of their own into the town to defend. Uh, they cannot afford to lose this town. They cannot afford to lose this LSC and these Grenadiers seem to be winning against France. And they have taken the LSC. That is going to be a huge victory for them. Um, Russia now just needs to march forward here, which is exactly what they're doing. I'm, I'm happy to see that they are um, utilizing this nice flanking force. They have cavalry, grenadiers pushing the flank. I'd be prepping to send some heavies against Naples. In all honesty, Naples could definitely do this now. The UK are pushing up. I hope they don't go straight into these guns. That is, that is... I think the UK should push the... Link. They should push in at an angle, ignoring this whole French line. Um, I think we do have Russia engaging, or very soon to be engaging, the French line set up behind this road. And they are actually going for a flank, uh, like almost an angle. They're going for like an angle. Uh, they could set up right here in this line and just focus one side of the French line and ignore the rest of the French. You know, utilize some really good uh, flanks. Naples, it looks like they are being thrown out of the town. Maybe they're going to keep attacking. Maybe. But with Austria in such an excellent defensive position with the LOC, that is their foothold. Then they can start pushing into the town. France is pushing forward, or they were pushing forward some line of troops, but they're letting Naples once again take this. See, for the coalition, or for, not for the coalition, for the imperial side, this is a huge disservice, I think, France should take this town fight and let Naples just fight in the left flank because Naples is having to multitask on two fronts here. You can see they are taking a line fight against Prussia. Prussia set up, ranging, and this is a Prussian dream come true to be in just a line fight, no melee needed, just volley fire. Just like Naples is charging up the town, Grenadiers charged to meet them so they couldn't take this LLC. Um, and here we go, the UK are advancing, dang it, they're going straight into the artillery piece, why? 
You don't need to attack. There's no infantry. It's an artillery piece. Don't attack it. Pull these guys this way and push in on this side. Now look at this. Russia has forced the French to fall back on the whole right flank here. Pushing infantry. France is not liking this, I guess. So they are going to fall back. And especially with the UK, if the UK can start pressuring this side, even... I really hate this. I hate that the UK are standing in front of artillery. There's nothing else here. There's no reason to attack this. That's all I'm going to say. Everyone has to do their own fights in their own ways. And we do have some French cavalry hovering on the left flanks so of Prussia's got to be careful here. But this fight looking pretty good. Looking pretty good for the coalition so far. I'd say so successful so far. Um, France may actually have to commit some forces to help Naples because they are just wavering like no one's business. The UK, oh, this is beautiful. They are pushing on this right flank right into the French. France is not going to do as well as the UK on this flank, although the UK needs to watch out for some melee. Um, Russia over here is going to advance into more guns as uh, the UK pushing one side of the French army and Russia pushing the other. Russia is going to have to maybe counterattack or depend a lot on their guns, which they're really going to start blasting the Russian line. But Russia has pushed so far. They have turned the flank without even firing really that much of a shot. I like that they're bringing a lot. I like that they're planning on doing some shooting. I'm um, bringing that light infantry just to do it. Now, Naples is falling back more and more. I'm sure they are not taking tons of losses, but they just don't probably want to take this fight. But we do have a French army making their appearance. Oh, looks like Polish for the most part. But this may stop the Prussians in their tracks, or Prussia's going to push even faster to try to see if they can't break Naples quicker. I mean, they should have set the heavies in already. The cross here, I would have pulled one or two lines here, sent them straight in the center. Straight down the center, guys. Austria still systematically moving forward. Surprisingly, Austria was the one going for the town assault. Oh, no. Well, Austria's probably not going to do too well once they got volleyed right in the face beforehand. The UK are pushing across the river. Man. Our men are running. Sir. Very much not needed. Now we do have, holy smokes, we have, it looks like um, a breakage. Oh, man. Russia is going to, Russia is going to start taking some losses. Now they did go for that artillery piece. Still, though, Russia, they have a lot of line of infantry that aren't very good at shooting. They still need to try to go for melee. Um, these guns, so long as these guns are here, the the French are just going to keep dancing around their guns and breaking the Russians one at a time. Now you can see here, surprisingly, the UK are not doing too well here. And with another French army making their appearance here, yeah, you see Prussia's totally just falling back. We do have some cavalry, looks like. Charged in, broke some skirmishers. And now some dragoons are going to help break, protect that flank, especially with the artillery from Prussia set up. And this town, this, this fight is turning into an interesting, uh, interesting fight for sure. France has finally set up their defensive line. With Russia advancing once more, Russia should be trying to get some melee on this flank. Get sent in that crossier with some of this infantry, not the lights, of course, but some of the line of tree. You have grenadiers. I know they had some grenadiers. There they are. Send the grenadiers with heavies. You can totally smash this flank, and guess what? You'll be breathing down the French, French's neck so easily. I mean, France is literally about to collapse in on itself. Oh, we have some French Cav. Oh my goodness, they broke the enemy general. So French Cav making some lightning fast plays, or maybe, you know, just going for a long play, sneaking around the flank. 
we do have, uh, unfortunately, a rush general who should have been by his army. Um, so I'm surprised he wasn't, but that's okay. Rush is still pushing here. They just got to be a little more cautious with the morale. Uh, the UK are going to start winning this line fight, given it the time. But it looks like Naples is collapsing in on Austria's flank. With Prussia falling back so far, Prussia should not have fallen back that far. They should have kept that line intact. They are isolating themselves away. Naples just basically turned and fell upon the Austrian flank. Now we do have some Carrossier charging in here. Lancers trying to stop them. This is what Prussia should have been doing this whole time with their heavy cav. I'm assuming Prussia is a newer player. They, they're... They're, they're throwing away an easy victory, I think. They could still fight right here and just ignore this flank. France is taking a long time to push. With the UK, though, the UK could be pressing here on the rear of this French line because France literally has their back showing to the UK. Um, Our men are running. Now, Russia has totally sandwiched the French, but they are just not making some super aggressive plays like they should and France is starting to be able to get a reaction force with cavalry Austria is getting really focused down right now those cross years broke and uh, Austria oh man Naples is really focusing them down and I really think the sad part about this is uh, Prussia is I mean they're re reorganizing their army but they have left their allies flank wide open by falling back what is happening what I, this this is what kind of is oh my gosh huge cab fight here in the back heavies versus some elite cavalry of France nice flanking charge though by the Lancers, maybe evening the odds. But France is more cav coming forward. Oh, Russia's losing this one. Russia's gonna start losing. We have some UK cavalry that ran in and took out a general and now is in the French back lines. Beautiful charge by the Russians. So they are finally getting into melee here as well as trying to outshoot this line. All at once, Austria is still in melee in this town, trying to hold off against Naples and a French attack. Prussia better not fall all the way back. They need to hold this line. They cannot, they gotta push up. They gotta stop France, which is advancing here. Well, France is actually, France should not be going that far in reaction. But you can see Austria, or not Austria, Russia, Along with the UK, seem to have maybe made a masterful stroke of luck. Breaking the French line. Even though their cav is breaking, or has broken, France doesn't have a lot of cav left. But they are going to charge in and try to break a lot of this Russian line. Man, their cav broke too. The UK have been doing what they honestly do best, which is standing and shooting. Um... Austria is trying to hold against Naples. Russia still not engaged, shifting over. Hopefully they'll maybe take part of this town fight. But they had to still deal with an entirely fresh um, French army that has dragoons. My goodness, a ton of dragoons. But the thing is, France is not going to help their ally in the town. They are going for a huge flank. And with Prussia shifting over... Maybe if the coalition hits hard enough and fast enough, they could still make a win. Oh man, French Cav in the back lines, killing the general, probably gonna go for the other general. So this is a very smart play for the French. They are trying to deal with the generals. So the morale of the coalition is just paper thin. That way they can mass route them. Austria has pretty much nothing left in the town. They have an artillery piece left. 
and Naples advancing once more. France is trying to reform because Russia is collapsing in on the flank here. With uh, the UK pushing this flank, um, I think the coalition still can win this. They have broken one French army almost entirely. The rest of it is being pursued by Russia. And the rest can keep pressing forward. Oh, we have another bayonet charge. Light infantry is not ideal, though, for that melee, but you know. Our men are running. Here we go. Um, the artillery battery is finally being charged. Finally dealing with it. Austria still trying to hold. I would fall back a little bit more. I'd pull this line back. Hold around this LOC a little bit more. Tell Prussia to just form up their line along this river. Oh my goodness, they lost their artillery piece. France is doing them a service though. They are taking a long time to actually make a push. So Prussia could help out in this Marengo town fight. Um, France is just getting meleeed by Russia. But with this cav support across the air charging in, Russia's probably met their match. And uh, unfortunately, wait, did they break the heavies? How? How did they break such a massive unit of heavies? And how was this not thrown in against the Russian conflict before? That's shocking. This would have been so beautifully used earlier against Russia. As soon as you see Russia send heavies over to them, they have very few squares. And the nice thing is Russia still has half their army though. So in the, with the UK pressing this attack, oh my goodness, what is happening here? This fight is turned into a bloodbath in the town. Both sides still not making any headway. And there's an entire French army still yet to engage. Prussia is engaged, though, in a line fight. We have cavalry now throwing themselves into this fight. Grenadier still holding this house. Naples has quite a lot of their army left, but France over here is breaking the, with, with the Russians and UK forces pretty healthy still. Um, there's a lot of hope that the coalition can still claim a victory here. France is... Uh, like I said, France has taken a very long time to advance. And in my opinion, they probably should try to swing this flank. They need to push into the town and try breaking, you know. I mean, I guess to focus on Prussia would be a huge win. Prussia has heavy cav. I would send it right here in charging against Naples. There's a line right here. Push it in. Austria is now being assaulted once more in the house. Man, look at the death and destruction that has been inflicted on both sides. France and the UK just kind of dueling it out. Um, it's only a matter of time before Russia does descend upon this flank. Um, looks like the UK are going to send some forces to pursue France. Our men are running, sir. Unfortunately, Marengo, which I believe this is the town of Marengo, has been taken once more by Naples. So after so much bloodshed, it is still... It has been claimed once again by the Imperials. Now, this is a problem. See all these routing troops? If Naples pushes forward with France, this will actually trigger some morale debuffs for the Coalition's army. And if they can push through that... You know, that could be a huge, that could cause another huge mass route. Especially since all of this line fire on both sides is actually going to be caught by all these poor Austrians caught in the middle of it. And it's actually going to drop a lot more of these guys than it is the enemy on both sides. The UK, in my opinion, are going to win this fight, though. They have reinforcing Russians, but even, even with no reinforcements, I think they can still win this. As long as they can get a volley or two off on the French assault column rolling towards them. Maybe not.
Oh my, oh my gosh. That's right, they lost their general. And, uh, yikes. The mass route with no general, that is going to turn into a huge problem. The UK just broke... Oh boy, oh, here, here we go, is this a heavy charge? Finally, a heavy cav from Russia charging in. You can see how fast this is gonna start melting away this Naples line. Four units, guys, four units here. Now Naples and France are gonna charge in here, but Our men are running, sir. not gonna work too well. The fact they may back charge their own units, that is one, probably two Naples infantry that will break. However, in just a second here, I would pull out these crosshairs and have a square ready to defend the line. Um, these guys are going to get tired very quickly here. Yeah, he's going to break. Oh, he's wavering already. You, you can charge him in for a second, but you actually can't keep him in melee too long. Um, oh, Russia. Russia, it is up to them. I think they can do this. I believe in them. They can break this French force. The problem is now the UK have lost their generals, so their units are going to have some really bad morale. Um, but hopefully they can break the rest of this French army. If they can just keep in a line fight here. More crosshairs pushing forward here. Russia now in a line fight using also this LOC as one of their flanks with some grenadiers. That actually is a perfect anchor for their line. But France is going to go in for it. This actually could work really well because it can start triggering a lot of, <coughs> excuse me, a lot of uh, breakage for the French. They do have to watch out for their flank. They do have cavalry to defend it. Um, if Naples gets too close, but Naples does have artillery as well. All right, Russia, let's do it one more time. We have some fresh troops. Oh, we have another huge cab fight. Ooh, sorry, my throat's all... My voice is going. No, I'm just kidding. It isn't. It's stronger than ever. Now, Naples is trying to charge in here and try to break this flank, but with so many troops routing, it actually may trigger a mass route for them. With another crossier sent in... And uh, these Grenadiers charging here. France may try to throw in some more infantry of their own. This line fight is not going well for the French whatsoever. They are going to get shredded up by the Musketeers of Prussia. And with that LOC really working well for them. These heavies have done well, breaking and holding that left flank as Naples and France probably were trying to commit. Russia looks like they're going in once more for the bayonet, the cold steel. The man of fatigue, sir. Why is it freezing up? That was weird. Okay, what is happening? <laughs> is there a fight for the LLC? Is there a cav charging around the, the infantry in the LLC? That usually freezes it up. If there's infantry in the LLC and you charge cav at those guys, it will freeze up the whole game. Holy smokes, there is... Oh, maybe it was over... Oh, it was over here. Some cav charged in... Oh my gosh. Both sides taking heavy losses. Yeah, what happened was... This was the Crosshairs charged this Grenadier unit. And that caused huge... Huge lag. Um, but it looks like the cab once again broke. France does not seem to be able to really get an edge now. More and more Polish infantry charging in here. This line fight rages outside. Like I said, Russia will hold. I have every confidence that they will hold. We do have some French infantry back behind the lines. What this heavy should have done is gone straight at the Prussian line in the center. Um, especially like right in this area. It was perfect. Russia still attacking here. 
Now they have not stopped, man. We've seen recent videos. Rush has been used with great effect in that melee. We have a general fighting desperately to hold the line. And France gets just absolutely rolled by the Russians. France is wasting a lot of time trying to deal with the LLC when they should just fight away from the LLC in my opinion. This battle has tipped back in the scales of the coalition. Um, the UK still dealing with the retreating French that made their stand by this hill. Although France probably should have tried going for this line at the same time. I mean, they had such an amazing opportunity to push some troops while the heavies charge in, get a back charge. Oh man, that would have worked so well. Prussia probably would have crumbled as well. Missed opportunities, but that's okay. On both sides, probably. It does appear that Russia may actually retake this LOC. Finally. After it has exchanged hands so many times. Russia now advancing. As France is probably falling back in... Uh, to seek a better defensive position with Naples. Maybe getting their artillery, pull the Prussians closer to the guns. And Prussia still has some heavy cap here, so they just need to rest them up. But with Russia pushing in on the flank of this Naples French army, you know, there's only so much you can do. Holy cow. Is Russia blobbing up? Oh, come on, Russia. Although this probably wouldn't be a wise thing. Ooh. This could break a ton of Russia. And Russia wasn't blobby. They were just pushing the troops forward. You should charge into an enemy blobby there. I mean, there are so many troops. They're just going to buffer each other. And you're just... Both sides are blah. Oh, my gosh. Oh, no one's really cheating here. They both just kind of threw their forces at each other. <laughs> and once the French and Naples and units start breaking, there's no way they were going to hold. So there's one last stand. I mean, there's a last stand over here. And then the final last stand of this French army. In my opinion, this French army, I think they, they spent too much time trying to march around the flank. They should have, when they were pushing over here, they should have rolled straight for the center to support wherever needed. Prussia was so slow moving, they would have uh, taken forever to reposition. Here we go, Russia once again meleeing the way to victory, charging in the flank, and uh, this French army is probably going to die here, and uh, it may have been close for a second there, especially with uh, the UK breaking, and uh, with Prussia falling back and Naples turning to face the town, that was a very wise decision by Naples. I'm just going to fast forward here, I mean, there's, there's not a whole lot left. But, uh, yeah, no, the, the French, I don't know. I mean, yeah, I'm sure I'm sure they were uh, mistakes made on both sides. I think mistakes were made on both sides. There's there's a definitely a couple probably newer players in here, which is okay. It's okay to have a battle with newer players. Uh, I know some people are like, oh, you know, it's bad. We only want close battles, and I would agree. And uh, this probably wasn't as close as some other replays, but still a... Still a uh, close one, probably because of the mistakes made on both sides. So anyway, guys, let me let me just fast forward to the end. It looks like uh, some random units left in the fight, but I'll skip to the end so we can see the results of this battle. All right, guys. So here's the battle. Like this one, like I said, this one was set in by Noid, uh, playing as Austria. You can see with the kills here, I uh, got thirteen ninety six for the kills. 
Um, Hakeen playing as a UK six pointer with 810. Uh, just in time with 1462. Um, and then Russia with 2541. Definitely was the carry of the team holding. Although each person did their part. Uh, you know, Austria holding the town. Um, Prussia did waste a lot of the French's time. So that actually ended up working well for them. On the other side, you have Star with 1,043. Um, you have the six-point Napoli by Commissioner with 1,127 for the kills. Um, camp with Russia center, 11 points with 557. Ooh, did not do that well. Um, probably got, I'm assuming they're the ones that got hit by, uh, by Russia. <laughs> uh, and then 807 for an Apple with another 11 point France. So... It does look like uh, it was a decisive victory for the coalition. So they did take Marengo and uh, sent the French running. Anyway, guys, that'll be the battle today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you all so much for joining me. You guys have a great rest of your day. Stay safe. And as always, I will catch you all in another video.